The old man said to me once about I wanted to oil the car, so I just got a tin of oil, went out and tipped it all through the car, came back inside, apparently as proud as punch, oh dad, I, I oiled your car. He's, oh no. But there's another one where mum says, I was misbehaving when they were out and about, and they, they took me out and locked me in the car, and apparently I said, if you lock me in here, I'm gonna poo in the car. <laughs> And, I, and they said, that's what I did, I cracked and rubbed it all over the inside. <laughs> and I know as a parent, if one of my kids had done that, oh, I would have lost my shit. <laughs> so How did your mum react? Yeah, they weren't happy, as you can imagine. But she said there's heaps of, I used to stuff toast in the, you know, in the vents in the house. She said it could have caught fire. Went to my nana's house with a cat and I'd throw the cat on the fire. There's just heaps. They all bounce and eat things with the, you know, bounce with the babies, I'd slingshot you know, slingshot my cousin and sister off. Just, shock, just shocking behaviour. So quite funny, when mum used to tell me the stories, I used to laugh. And she, yeah, then she said, that's what happened one day, they went out to farmers, I think she said, and I had a chocolate, uh, strawberry milkshake and just went nuts. She said, I was running through the display, knocking everything down. She said, and that's when they clicked on that it might've been the food colouring stuff, it was sending me a bit nuts. So I started knocking that on the head as well. The old milkshake shake's got no more of that for me. <laughs> Classic though. Funny stories.